Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm right here with the new Alfa Romeo Tonale and in this video I will review the multimedia system. So stay with me if you want to find out everything about uh, the new multimedia system and also about the new cockpit. Keep in mind that this multimedia system uh, it used also on the new Maserati cars. So this is impressive. You will see it's a really good multimedia system. So first of all, let me start with the cockpit. I will start with the cockpit. It's not as customizable as uh, Volkswagen or Mercedes, for example, but it's a very good digital screen. It's a HD screen and it's very good resolution, very good quality. The brightness is good and also uh, it works really good. Now, uh, if you want to change different things there on the screen, uh, all you have to do, you have to control it from this wheel and from this button. So uh, if you press the button, you will have the options to choose the middle or this area to change it. So first of all, let me show you guys, press it in the middle and then you can see there are different information like brake and acceleration, hybrid information because this is a hybrid uh, version. Then you have this uh, charge and power and it will show you a nice graphic of what happened with the energy. Then you have the message, if you have some uh, messages stored there, driver assistance systems. And then you have the consumption here, it will show you the connectivity and then the speed. And those are all, I mean, it's not super customizable. Behind here, you have another button that you press it on the stock and you can change from three different driving modes. So you can see, uh, this is kind of a normal mode, simple mode, this is the classic and this is kind of a sport mode. Every time you change even the driving modes here, if you go to normal mode, you can see they're slightly, slightly different, at least in dynamic mode, this is a sporty mode. You can see them that they are with red and a little bit different here on the side, but not, not big deal. I mean, in terms of customization, it's not a big, big, big deal, but uh, you have a great visibility and it's a very good screen, much better than most of the cars out there. So great job i mean i like it very much also you have a lot of information on the screen like how much battery you have the the speed limit and all kind of stuff also when you activate the autopilot you will see a lot of information there very useful and nice now this is the screen let's go forward let's go right here to the multimedia system multimedia system the only physical buttons that you have these days at least in alfa romeo in this tonale and probably in the next Alfa Romeo cars will be kind of the same. You have physical button for climatic system. This is very useful and very good because you don't have to always stretch out and use the controllers from the screen. And you have a physical button for volume down here um, and close and open it up. So pretty simple. Other than that, the screen is around 10 inch um, display. It's a good screen, a good visibility from the driver point of view, nothing to say. Also the brightness, what I noticed, the quality of the screen, it's very good. It's a glossy screen and it's very sensitive and responsive, something that I like very much. Now, first page, home page, here on the right side, you have some physical button. If you go to home page, you will see here that you can customize every single page here. You can make more pages or less pages, how, however you want. You can see I add some extra page. I add the navigation system. I add the trip here. I add another page, uh, climatic system. Here again, multimedia. Here I add these seats and uh, steering wheel and then I add the phone and then you can add also another widget you, you can see here my car for example you can add it right here you can press it and you will see it will appear there so it's super cool you can also add an extra page with two layouts or three layouts and then again the same story so it's great how much how many customization you have here and you are able to play with it and do it like consumption for example I want to see consumption here and here I want to see the the accessory gadgets and how cool is that how how fancy is to have your page your screen the way you want it it's incredible on the upper side here you have uh, the time you have information about heating seats you can also change from here the temperature very simple you can you have three different uh, level of heating on your seats you have heated steering wheel here the same for the passenger on the right side um, also from up here if you go up down 
uh, you can see some information, shortcut information like temperature, rear camera, because the car comes with a rear camera, you can activate it from here. It's a very nice resolution camera. Um, I have to say that the resolution camera is much better than on some Volkswagen cars, for example, in the last uh, time. Now, here you have shortcuts. You go to media, here on the media you have all the settings and you can add and adjust the audio setting, the balance and fade, the equalizer, the speed uh, adjustment volume. You have here auto play, auto on radio, radio off with doors, volume adjustment. You have so many adjustments uh, right there and here you have all the sources, radio or from wherever sources you have you want to add here. Uh, you can add it. Bluetooth for example. Now the next one is comfort. Here's the climatic system if you want to uh, change the things here in the screen you can do it from here very simple like that. You can choose the direction, the heating seats, the temperature on the side, uh, down here is the van speed, you can put it also to maximum AC, rear maximum and super simple just like that on the screen you can use it also from here. Then you have the navigation that in my opinion it's one of the best on the market it's crazy responsive i have to say that i'm impressed with the chip and processor behind this multimedia it's crazy crazy responsive much better than most of the uh, multimedia and much better than what was before it's work very fast you can also um, i will show you an example here for example if you want to navigate somewhere uh, let's say here for example you can see how fast it's loading and also it gives you kind of free options here that you can choose uh, three different routes and information about the routes and this is super super good so from my point of view very very good uh, very good navigation system also you have the 3d or 2d depend how you want to see it the next one here is the telephone i will have a separate video with how to connect android auto to this multimedia system so check out next days uh, here you can add your phone super simple and then you have the vehicle the most important information are on the vehicle because here you have the settings of the car and you have my car on the my car you have you can see when you have to make the service when you have it last time the driver mode explorer you have free driving modes dynamic normal and advanced efficient like eco normal and sport and you can see also every time you change it what kind of settings the car will have the trip here you can see the consumption on the last trips you can also hear it, see it here very simple performance here on the performance you can see uh, also uh, technical gadgets so for example the newton meters turbo then you have the consumption history and advanced gadget like oil temperature transmission temperature and 12 volt battery then reverse camera you already see it and then on the settings here guys are a lot of settings here i need a little bit of time to explain you all of this so first of all the display you have all the options to change the language display mode auto manual uh, the touch screen the units you can change it show main category warning cluster buster volume uh, you have so many cluster options here you have so many so many options to change and to adjust different things then you have the my profile you can connect and you can add your profile here safety and driving assistance systems are very important also keep in mind you have emergency brake lane assist you can go on every single settings and change uh, depend how you want to drive it warning late rear alert driving also from here you can change it very simple traffic sign recognition also here um, you can activate and deactivate it um, and so on like traffic sign assist offset intelligent speed assist new speed zone indication uh, front park sensor volume driver alert passenger airbag and all that stuff a lot of safety features clock and time here you can change time and date uh, also bluetooth phone bluetooth settings and then uh, voice you have also even voice here you can option to change male and female and all that voice settings navigation settings here are all the navigation settings camera settings mirror and wiper settings so raining sensors you have the light settings here so for example in, in interior ambient light you can choose uh, from here you can choose the sensitivity uh, ambient light color personalization you have some ambient light and the ambient light it's right here on this area here and also a little bit of there and if you look closer you can see a red there in the night time you can see it better so you have a few colors here so you can choose from blue green 
white, yellow, or red. So it depends how you like to have it. Uh, let's leave it on blue. And then, of course, if you go forward, you have headlight sensitivity, uh, grating light. So, for example, when you go to car and open the car, it will show you some light. Automatic high beam, adaptive front light, steering um, direction light, and flashlight with lock. Brakes here, very important, is that auto hold from now on, it's on the screen. You don't have any physical button down here for auto hold will be on the screen you have to activate and deactivate it from here that's something to keep in mind and also, and also auto park brake so when you brake uh, when you park when you put it in park the car will automatically uh, turn on the electronic handbrake door and locks here you have also all the information about auto door lock flashlight with lock one press key fob unlock uh, and all that stuff. Seats and comfort on the seats and comfort also you have all that options uh, out on comfort for example key off um, options audio settings option you see it before notification radio setup geolocation uh, software updates and software information and you can see how complex it is now if that was not enough guys up here okay you have this widget so you press this widget here and then it will get you to all the settings of the car all the application of the car here you have favorite you can save to your favorite you have recents uh, the recent uh, that you open categories and then all all the application are here you put it on categories it's much easier and if you go to media you see all the application that you have on the media for example audio settings bluetooth uh, fm radio media device connectivity then you go to comfort on the comfort here you have all the application on the comfort uh, driver heating heating steering wheel and then precondition heating navigation here it's only one then you go to phone android and all whatever you used before here you can see it and then you have the vehicle on the vehicle you have ambient color you see it before controllers on the settings you have all that settings with language that i show you before and so on and so forward let me go back rich and categories trip you can see the trip you can see the vehicle i show you also all those uh, things before so i i also want to show you that they are here in the system and then you have the other like weather tutorials and my car and performance and stuff like that so yeah this is the multimedia i think i show you almost everything i will show you also the video with android how can you connect an android phone with this new multimedia system keep in mind it's very responsive it's very good you will be really happy with it i tell you i like it very much i think it's it's really good it's work fast no lag very very good system and also a very pleasant stay here in the car to be honest i like the car very much and uh, i like this multimedia system also very much i think they did a great job so um, great job stellantis group alfa romeo super nice and also you have a great visibility from here because it's a little bit tilted to the driver's side so guys that was the video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you get some useful information from this video if you want to see the video with android auto check it out on the channel it will come soon so click the subscribe button to see the notification when that video will come out also if you want to see the newest car and videos uh, click the subscribe button to see it uh, when they come out on the channel so that was the video thank you for watching stay safe and see you soon in the next one bye guys <music>